Shower time is one of the most relaxing experiences in hygiene, as well as being one of the grossest places in your home. Why? Find out with 10 things you should never do in the shower. But before we pull the curtain, hit that subscribe button to stay on top of what's new at the richest. Loofahs and razors. While loofahs are scrunchy and come in fun colors, they breed bacteria. The same thing goes for your razor. All of the germs and bacteria that were on your skin get transferred to any products you use on your skin, like loofahs and razors. To prevent this growth of bacteria, wring out your loofah and let it dry completely, as well as your razor, pumice stones, etc. Anything that touches your skin needs to completely dry out before your next shower time. Water on your feet. Most of us will put in some legwork into washing our body, but will often neglect our feet because there is water and soap running over them. This is a big mistake. What you should do is give your feet a little TLC and give them a good washing with a cloth or loofah, getting in between those toes where bacteria and germs can fester. Washing your face. Wait, what? Washing your face in the shower is so convenient and easy, right? If you wash your face as part of your shower regimen, you may want to reconsider. First, you're likely washing your face in really hot water in the shower when skin experts recommend a lukewarm temperature. If you're prone to redness, the hot water will just make it worse. Second, you're probably mixing product with your face wash without even realizing it, like shampoo and conditioner. This confuses your skin and affects the quality of the product. Finally, washing your face with too much water can actually lead to dehydration. Staying warm. Keeping the water warm for the duration of your entire shower actually is counterproductive for keeping your skin moisturized. Long exposure to warm or hot water and to a lot of water actually dries out your skin. Experts recommend that your shower stay lukewarm and then for the last five minutes, shock your body with a session of cold water. This will wake up your body, make it more alert, and improve your mental awareness of your surroundings. Exfoliation. Most people think that they need to exfoliate every day in order to get that silky smooth skin. But in reality, you should only be exfoliating about once a week. If you do this any more than once a week, it's definitely overkill. Exfoliating too much results in you washing away your skin's defense system, making you more vulnerable to skin infections and illnesses. So reduce the exfoliation regimen to once a week for your best skin health. Working out. In an effort to save water, some people will go all day without taking a shower after working out in the mornings or midday. This is actually harmful to your body as you are leaving the bacteria from your sweat onto your skin, and it is one of the main causes for body odor and skin infections. So after breaking a sweat from your workout session, step into the shower at least for a few minutes to give your skin a good wash from those germs that came from inside your pores and your external environment. Daily Hair Washing most people will wash their hair every day, but this is actually more harmful than good. If you wash your hair every day, you are stripping your hair of its natural oils and proteins, causing your hair to dry out quicker. So how often should you put your hair through the wringer? Experts recommend lathering up your hair about every two days. Conditioning After you wash your hair, you probably apply conditioner right after and then rinse it off pretty quickly. Also, you might even apply conditioner to your scalp first. These are all common mistakes we make with conditioner. Experts recommend that you leave your conditioner in your hair for a few minutes, as it is a moisturizer for your hair, so it needs time to work. Also, apply your conditioner to your ends first, as those are the driest parts of your hair, and then work your way up. Applying conditioner to your scalp first is counterproductive as it affects the natural oils coming from your roots. Rubbing the towel When you get out of the shower, you'll probably grab your towel and rub it against your skin to dry out. This will irritate your skin as the action of rubbing your skin is much too harsh, especially since your skin cells are softer from the exposure to water. Your skin has been through enough, so instead of rubbing yourself dry, pat yourself with the towel. Moisturizing after you're done showering, put on your lotion or moisturizer right away. 
This will lock in the moisture from your shower session and ensure that your skin doesn't dry out. If you neglect this crucial final step, you're making your skin vulnerable to drying out sooner and countering the moisturizing properties of your body wash. How many of these things are you guilty of doing in the shower? Leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought of this video. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to The Riches for more awesome videos daily. Enjoy your next shower and thanks for watching.